G'day comrade subscribers, remember these fellows from Moldova, the Moldovan Bites. Uh, this one works, this one doesn't work. I've got three of these, none of them work. One of these works perfectly. What's the difference? Well, this one doesn't have a ULA or equivalent. It's all discrete circuits. So it has no issues. Um, this one uses a ULA, so it's pretty simple. Uh, let's see, so that's that's the video for that one. And that's the video, seven pin with um, audio out for that one. So I'm just I just can't remember. It's five volts in with a with a din, but I just can't remember the exact pin out. Can't be that difficult. Pin two will be. Um, I open this one. Pin two will be the uh, da, 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 ground, no doubt. All right, let me just get a screwdriver. Okay, so looking at this one, <clears throat> no, this is a June '94, and it looks like. I haven't, I haven't opened it, so we've still got the security snot on that last screw there. But um, there we go. It's number 1137, June 94. Now I've just got, um, have a look over here. <laughs> got Ancient Art of War running on my uh, PCXT. So that's what's making the noise. I could probably just give it a test. Yeah, that seems keyboard stops working. So I don't know what the issue is. So there's something else I've got to sort out. So I don't know. I haven't changed any any capacitors, any tantalums on the board. So maybe a tantalum's blown, which so it's okay when you first boot it up. I haven't had it on for a week. Um, but if I turn it off, power it back straight on, it'll be, yeah, keyboard won't be working. So I'll probably need to go and change all those tantalums. Anyway, that's not what we're doing today. We're having a look at this. So this one's not been opened before. Um, let me just check the what power requirements are. We can power it on and, and have a look. Security screw is actually a Phillips head. Not a flathead, just to throw everyone off. Looks like like a plain, <laughs> plain wood screw by the looks of it. Get it out. All right. So yep. So this is the other one. Now, this is my first look at inside this particular one, but you, you can see we've got the, the ULA there, we've got a Z80, we've got the ROM, we've got 64K of RAM, and some glue logic there, or some chips for the um, cassette and uh, video output. Speaker here, actually, let me check. Oh, that's very interesting. Huh. So, oh no, yep, there we go, seven pin. Yep, that's the TV output, cassette and joystick. Very <laughs> high quality keyboard. Check my older videos, I've, I've pulled this apart. Turn it, turn it. Uh, right, so for power, I'm guessing pin two is ground. Have a closer look. Very dodgy ROM. Um, got a, I think it's an East German, East German Z80. And the good old was a KR. Um, 565 or something, what is it? KR565 RU5 64 kilobit DRAMs. Anyway, right, so 
Let me see what power cables I've got. Uh, why don't you have a little, little watch of the demo? This was my absolutely favourite game back in my youth. Well, it's got to be the CGA version. Can't be the EGA or VGA version. Right, let me get this uh, power supply sorted out. Black of the enemy. And capture the capture the flags. Alright, let me just check. Let me stick four bucks in. Oh, one barbarian against knights. No chance. Yeah. Anyway, all right, I'm almost done here. I'm almost done, I just need to double check the pin out. Come on. Alright, enough of that. Alright, so I've got the bike hooked up, 7 pin plus audio, and I've got power there, and I've got it hooked up to there. So let's have a look at the screen. So if I power on, that one, so that's what I get. A very unstable image. So I've always thought, okay, maybe dodgy dodgy DRAM that's not happy is it and this has been the same on all three of these red bytes none of them have worked um, at all whereas if I try the um, the black black byte um, cable there I assume it's the same power let me set that up Got that one set up let's have a look <laughs> just to prove me wrong <laughs> this one's not working either son of a gun i thought this one was working hmm i'd have to look it's been a while since i thought this one was working unless it's decided not to work now there is um there is yes that ah there we go that was the reason <laughs> there he is. If I just have a look. This small switch here, which is connected, I think, maybe to NMI pin on the Z80. So that was switched. That's why that wasn't working. I have to go back to... Um, apologies, Red Bite. I'll, I'll go back and double check. I'm pretty sure that didn't have any um, 
any bearing. There we go. Keyboard is just a bit dodgy. That was the problem. So, um, oh, maybe print. No. Uh, cap shift. Where's ah, symbol shifts over here, is it? No. There we go. Symbol shift. Yep. Test. Uh, symbol shift. And. Oh, that'll do. Uh, enter. Okay, anyway. So, yeah, keyboard could d probably do with a bit of a bit of a clean, but it's not so easy on this one. Uh, power off. Um, you got to kind of pull it all apart. There is, it's all. Yeah, this is all one piece of plastic here. So to get at the keyboard, you're going to have to basically get this metal plate off. Uh, maybe worth doing, but yeah. Anyway, let's try. <laughs> let's try the bite again because it has the same NMI switch. But actually, as you'll notice, it's already to the left. Oops, sorry, Oops, you can't see that, can you? It's already to the left, so. Let me just double check. There's no, no real difference. So this is to the left. You see, it's quite unstable actually. And then to the right. So we power off, power on. So same thing. Switch to the left. Power off. Power on. Yeah, so I, I was thinking what I'm going to try today is I do have some brand new ULAs. So I was going to try and remove the ULA, see if I'll put a new one on and see if that makes any difference. So here's the fellow. I will try to remove him uh, using my uh, rework station, hot air rework station or whatever. See if I can get this fellow off. And then here, very well packed, uh, we have some replacements. 216, so that's the type, 216. That's the same one as what I want there, 216. So that's a 94 date. That is a 91 date. KA1515XM1, or X is a K, isn't it? KM1. <laughs> All right. So let's see if I can get this fellow off without causing too much damage. Okay, I'll put lots of um, flux on. Hopefully that'll help. And I'll pick this up. I'm not really sure how to use this. Because when I put it back down on the um, on the cradle, it keeps going. Anyway. Uh, got him off. I need to read the instructions maybe because it's like I put him back down on the on the cradle. Turn off, turn off. 
Turn off. <laughs> All right. All right. So got him off. I think without. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of scorch marks. <laughs> First attempt at that, so I uh, just need to clean that up a bit, I, I guess. Clean it up a bit. So here's the original. Um, it's come off quite cleanly. It's quite hot. It's a bit hot still. It looks like it's come off quite cleanly. Um, remember which way around it was? <laughs> I think it was around that way, wasn't it? All right, there's some... I stick it in the vise. I might just stick it in the vise just to try and dump the heat quicker. Nice big middle. Take the heat away. All right. That's the underside. You can see some <laughs> lovely rework there. Well, not rework, but. Uh, dodgy work there um, okay so it all looks actually pretty good there is a bit of a there is a blob there that's across two tracks otherwise apart from the scorch marks I'll give it a little bit of a clean uh, but then the idea is whack one of these on. Although it's nice, the um, pins aren't pins aren't uh, angled down. They're all just angled straight out. So I'm going to have to. That's going to be a bit annoying. I have to them all down like this oh, I did think of that I realize that so I could actually maybe just I was just gonna use the hot air gun again just to remount the solder on back on but it looks like I might actually have to solder each one individually Okay, but yeah, let me uh, let me tidy this up a bit and uh, figure out what I'm going to do. So what I'm kind of doing, I think, well, I think this is what I'm doing, is the tweezers just. I need to cut my fingernails, so I just move, angle it down, and then angle it back up, something like that. I just need to angle them down, I think. All right, so yeah, this is going to take me a little while, I think. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, maybe like that. That's almost good enough. I think they're just pretty much all making contact. I just need to to straighten them up. As close as I can go. Whoop. Let's go down. This is a bit better maybe. So it's almost so it's like sides making contact. And then I can maybe just do individual ones as required. And so no idea. No idea if that's the problem. No idea if this works, no idea if this will fix it. Um, but basically this does everything. So, you know, it could be an addressing issue or it could be video generation issue. I don't know. I'm not a spectrum expert for a start, <laughs> um, which I might end up replacing this good old Soviet capacitors without any plastic coat. I have to um, do that. So I'll probably replace that. It's two electrolytics, I'll probably replace them as well. Let's see if I can get this on. Okay, it's done. Um, I hope I didn't overheat it. <laughs> I hope I didn't get it too hot. But um, all the legs, all the legs are soldered on. Uh, 
Oh, there's that one there. Just need to put a bit more solder on. Uh, but yep, I can't see any bridges. Just that one there is doesn't make proper contact. Um, yeah, so I will just finish that one off. I'll have a closer look. And then um, give it a try. Okay. okay. Closer look. Not a bad effort. <laughs> I forgot to check if that was the way it was oriented. <laughs> Uh, when I took it off, <laughs> it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see <laughs> what the effect is. Um, yeah, all right, let's uh, put it back in its bottom case and um, give it a try. The result is... <laughs> Actually, I think that's... Yeah, I've got to change the NMI switch. Uh, a different sort of error. <laughs> no response from the keyboard. And then my switch to the right, I think that shorts. Yeah, so I think that grounds or takes NMI high, I'm not sure. So switch should be to the left. So, yep, yeah, okay. Let's just... Uh, did I put the ULA on the right way around? I'll have to have a look. Do time, please. Oh, yeah. yeah, disappointingly, <laughs> either I um, applied too much heat so damage this or this didn't work in the first place or this wasn't even the issue so i'll say I've, this is part 12 i have spent quite a bit on the other ones uh, maybe looking at the ram but um, the problem with this sort of board is that it's cheap and um, like i've just tried to remove um, i'm going to replace the electrolytics in the next part but already the um, the trace has come up and broken so there's not much you can do to this sort of board without it probably coming apart. <clears throat> so, yeah, anyway, disappointing. So um, that didn't make any difference. Well, maybe the, <laughs> maybe there's more than one issue. I'm not sure. So I'll replace these um, in the future. And I might try and remove the DRAM and socket them and, and put in uh, 4164s and just see if that makes any difference because I, I have tried the um, replacing the ROM, I have tried the Z80 and it makes no difference. So yeah, definitely um, <laughs> if you see one of these for sale, uh, assume it doesn't work because I'm, I'm three for three, none of them work. Um, okay, bye for now.